What's up, everybody? Happy Aloha Wednesday. Welcome to the HFG show, the Hawaii Fishing Gear show, where we talk about Hawaii fishing gear. Um, we also talk about Hawaii fishing. If you guys got questions, drop them right now in the comments while we're live on all of our platforms. Uh, welcome. How you guys doing? Um, I'm here with Uncle Wallace. You don't mind getting called Uncle, how you good with that? I, I've accepted it right. for about it's, five years. It's already. a hard pill, man. It's a hard pill. You got to realize, uh, uh, everybody calling me uncle. It is what it is. Uh, while we wait for people's questions to fill in in the comments, uh, let's talk about some brand new stuff on highfishgear.com. If any of you guys make glow spider flies or glow squid flies, you will be happy to know that now on highfishgear.com, we got the little glow squid legs. Um, they are called... Silly legs, silly legs. They are from uh, Semperfly. You may have seen different versions around the way. We got pink glow. This one is a white and green glow. A little bit of speckled colored on those little silicone legs that everybody uses for their glow flies. Now available on HighFishGear.com. This one is a dark yellow, glow in the dark. Three different colors now available on the front page of our website, and then also. Did, what happened? Did they discontinue a different eye or something? Or this is just a new uh, one? Another brand that we carry discontinued some other stuff. So okay. We'll... So we reached out and grabbed the different brand stuff. Yep. For you guys that like 3D style eyes, little dome shaped eyes for your flies and stuff, it gives you a little extra bulk, especially because it's already filled in. Uh, 3D epoxy eyes from Semperfly are now available on our website. You may find some of the other flies that you've been buying are no longer available on our website because they discontinued it. And now we got different eyes. They're little dome-shaped eyes. All the same size, huh? There's four colors and three different sizes. Okay, so we only got one size here, but the other ones are there. Yeah. Okay, pearl, sunburst, bloodshot, neutral. You guys go choose the one that you like on our website. The nice pictures on our online already. Um, we also got restocked Kaku Lures um, earlier in the, I think it was late last week. Uh, but half-ounce casting minnows, oh, uh, yeah. one-ounce casting minnows. Uh, some of the traditional anti sharons and stuff like that already stocked. If you want to check out Kaku Lures, if you haven't, if you didn't get the notifications when they got restocked, go check out the Kaku Lure stock. A lot of local made products in that. And uh, let's go through. Did you see any questions yet? Yep. On the top. We also got restocked on some tubbies, some lines, some hooks. All today, yeah? Yep. Uh, BKN 22, good for bait casting. Absolutely. Uh, size 22 is when you're getting into that taco leg category or small bait fish category. 18, size 18 and up is the taco leg, fat taco leg. Below that is small piece taco leg. Uh, but size BKN 22 is a great size for bait casting. Where can I get a SPX 10 foot 6 rod? You, FAKA 92, go to SPX rods on Instagram, send them a DM. There you go. All right. What's up from Maui? How you doing, brother? Aloha. And okay, no more. That's all pretty much the questions on this one. People call me uncle, and they're not even more than 10 years younger than me. Yeah, it happens, brother. It, it, <laughs> it is what it is. I remember the first time someone older than me called me uncle. I'm like, but the guy was just kind of, he wanted something. <laughs> uh, check out SPX Rods. If you can't find his Instagram, send me a DM. I will um, I will send you a, a direct link to his account so you can get right in touch with Mr. Storm and uh, maybe snag one of the next SPX uh, rods off the thing. It is the beard, Salty Levi. I agree. If you, if you like rock one gray beard, you best be prepared to be called uncle. The salt and pepper look, man. Salt and pepper. Now it's not kind of... It's got Ali'i and... <laughs> Ali'i and Limu <laughs> and Ogo. <laughs> Extra All right. vitamins. All right. All right. Not a whole lot of questions. No. Uh, let's see. Let's let's start the conversation. Um, not a whole lot going on. The um, the kids thing. Oh, shh. thank you so much for reminding me. I don't know why I keep spacing on it. All right. Uh, I wish I would have started this right off the bat, but here we are, four minutes and 42 seconds into the video. This Saturday... We are having a DAR, Department of Aquatic Resources, fishing pono class here at the shop. Uh, Freedom Church next door is uh, the church that right next door to us. 
Uh, shout out to Pastor Junior for letting us use their space. We're going to have a cakey fishing class. Um, there are still spots available. There's just a few spots left. If anybody has a cakey that they want to attend the class, it is Saturday, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. You can get in. You can get out. You can have the whole day after. If your kids get soccer practice or football games or whatever, you can still take them after if it's not early. Send me a direct message on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, send us an email, sales at High Fish Gear. Give us a call at the shop tomorrow, 808-689-6368. Get your kids signed up. It is a going to be probably about an hour presentation. There's going to be some talks about sustainability, fishing regulations. There's going to be some games. There's going to be some materials given from the Department of Aquatic Resources. Um, you are invited to come with your keiki. Uh, we only did 20, 20 kids this time around. So if their parents come to it, we can fit up to 40 people, no problem. Uh, if you got more than one kid, not a problem. We will make room for it. Every kid that shows up uh, out of that 20 will get a free whipping pole and a little bag of tackle that they can use for it. It's to get them off, started off on the right foot. And some of you adults that attend with your keiki, you might learn something too. Yep. I think you might learn a little something that you didn't know. Um, they're all going to leave with regulation books. They're going to leave with uh, materials from DAR. And like I said, a free rod. And it you they can go straight whipping right after. I remember getting a video from last time we did it. Um, some guy took his kid and he just immediately fell in love with fishing. It... It's a great way to get them started uh, to realize why it's important to fish with sustainability in mind, mm -hmm. why it's important to know your regulations, because it's not just to make your life harder. It's to, you know, make sure that our fishery stays around longer than, you know, longer for us. So our keiki can fish too, and their keiki can fish too. We're not just, you know, pulling everything out of the ocean just because we can, you know? Yeah. All right. So... Saturday, this Saturday, April 13th, there are still spots available. Please reach out ASAP 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. this Saturday at the shop. It's free, all right? What's the lure ratings for Nitro SeaTech rated 17 line capacity? 1.5 ounces. 1.5 ounces is the suggested. What's yours, one? One. Wallace says one. I say 1.5 ounce on... Uh, Hammer I've, bomb, no problem. I've snapped three C techs with 1.5. Okay. So we call it one and a quarter. One and a quarter. <laughs> one and a quarter, Glenn. There you go. All right. We Portuguese. Okay, let's <laughs> see. Uh, mean lure rating. Best hook and size for Ninui. Ninui's and Palani's. Aji size six. Aji size six or uh, Gamakatsu octopus size five or size six. Yep. Those are great ones. Black hook, hide them in the limo. Black hook, hide, you know, just hide them in whatever bait you're using, whether it's bread or uh, or limo. Aji, octopus, or um, what's the other one called? Mosquito hooks. They Mosquito all work hooks great. are always good. Advice on choosing flies for Omilu when using bubbles. Um, dark color, light color. Don't even, don't even stress about the colors. If there's an Omilu out there and you present the fly in front of them, Bugger gonna go for it. Very aggressive, not very smart predators. Super aggressive. If they're out there and you're bumping something right in front of them, they're gonna come by and check them out. As long as get omilos in the water. If you want something like real basic, get a black fly. Yep. Get a white fly. That's you covered. Anything in between is just icing. Just icing on the cake. All right. All right, 11 foot conventional pole with pen jig master 500L. What size lead should I use? That would be, uh, that would be based on your rod's lure rating. Lure rating. Yep. So just an example, 11 foot conventional rod. I would say probably gonna have a lure rating of about six ounces if it's a pen. Yep. Um, now keep in mind, lure ratings on a rod are not the same as lead <laughs> ratings. <laughs> I want to say this because if your lure rating says 8 ounces and you go and throw an 8 ounce lead on one lure rating, you're going to up the chances for snap. If you're just starting out first time using a rod, you don't know what it's capable of. If the lure rating says 6, sample 5. If the lure rating says 8, sample 6 or 7. 
If the lure rating says 12 ounces, sample one eight, sample one nine. Play with it. Don't don't just go straight max lure rating on a rod that you're not 100% sure if can handle. Sample down on the lure ratings. If you feel like it can handle, maybe up it to closer to what it is. Um, but Waterman, if you got the lure rating on that rod, just keep it in mind. Check out the lure rating, go down one ounce. You're good. If no more lure rating, I cannot help you out. What size major craft triple cross would you recommend with a 5K Shimano Stratic FM? Uh, any of the LSJs. The medium actions will work well with the 5Ks. The medium heavy, that reel might be a little... The medium heavy is 2 ounce, 2.5. Yeah, I would stick with the medium actions or the LSJs. All right. So you're talking about Solpara, cross stitch, yep. or triple cross. Any of the LSJs, any of the mediums are cherry for that. You might be pushing it with the medium heavy because the lure rating on the medium heavy is usually what? I think it's 60 plus or minus 20. 60 plus or minus 20, so you're 80. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, are we actually getting... We're supposed to be getting a Major Craft delivery tomorrow. All right. Stay tuned to your notifications, everybody. Major Craft might be coming tomorrow. Not 100% locked in. I just wanted to say it because we were talking about the rods. Normally, I wouldn't have said anything. And then there's uh, light, medium, heavy. Yeah, there, there you go. All right. Uh, the the Crossage LSJ is rated up to 50 grams. Can I pop with a 50-gram popper? The LSJ and a 50-gram, it can handle, as long as it's not a really big popper, it's going to handle a 50-gram. It's actually rated 40 plus or minus 20. That, uh, that ounce and a half or ounce 1.4 ounce popper, should be oh, cherry for yeah. that. Yeah. The governor of Guam, you know that 1.4 ounce that we popped up? What's up, Only Flies? All right. Yakima or Thule for bed racks? Hmm. Yakima. Yakima. I like, I like Yakima stuff. For some reason, I've, I've checked out both. Thule seems really expensive and aluminum. When I look at the Thule racks, all I see is, oh, Scrap metal, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> Aluminum. I, uh, Salty Levaya. I live in Eva Beach. I know all the chronics. I'm not going to be rolling around with aluminum racks on mine. I think I'll be gone. And I know the brothers that work Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, you know, I always, plus the, the Yakima stuff is all black. Yeah. My truck is black. My Jeep is black. Uh, I, got, I got Yakima fat cats on my Jeep. I got Yakima, uh, just other, their ski racks. If you guys ever know what the, the pole holders that everybody get on their trucks, they're ski racks. They're made for skis, but hey, they work for fishing poles. Yep. Get something like a Yakima, get, get one of those things because you try to make your own, you're going to be whistling on a freeway. I tell you right now, these things are designed to be operated at high speed. You, you try to make your own or you try to grab one. One knockoff version. You're gonna be whistling. You're gonna be making noise on a freeway. Not a, not a fun day. All right. Um, what is the best Olua bait, Ryder? The best Olua bait is something live from the area that you're fishing. If you can catch bait from where you are fishing, if you go, all right. Let's just say, if you go in Texas and you're gonna try catch one Texan. You don't know, you don't bring, um, you don't bring food from, uh, from New York. You bring food from Texas. Yep. Texas people like Texas barbecue. Californians, they like Californian, Californian food. Flor Florida people, they like Cuban food because they're close to Cuba. But if you like, you know, you bring Hawaii food for ho catch Hawaii people. You bring the food that they're used to. And that predator is coming in the area of where you're fishing looking for the same stuff that it's caught before catch something live from right there other than that taco ika shrimp everything eats that all right or would you get a triple cross or cross stitch for whipping i would get whatever you can afford yeah. the triple cross is the higher end one the cross stitch is the middle the sopara is the lowest end yeah. for general whipping the lsj does it really well i'll break it down if if you whip twice a week and you make good money, get the triple cross. Yep. If you whip 
Yeah, you're just getting into whipping. You know, you got some money to spend, not not one full budget. You're not really interested in getting the best of the best. Go with the Sopara. If you're kind of in between, go with the cross stitch. There yep. you go. But, hey, if you treat yourself, gentlemen and ladies, if you if fishing is your way of blowing off steam, relaxing, getting in touch with the Aina, getting your feet in the sand, in the water, it's your reason to go to the beach, and you enjoy it, it's part of your life, treat yourself to the finer things. Get yourself that 4K, 5K, 6K, 8K Stella, all in stock on highfishgear.com right now. Just going to say Tell you, Wahine, you earned it. You earned it. <laughs> you took out the trash eight weeks in a row. All right. <laughs> LSJ Cripple tr Triple Cross. Yep. Yep. Is there any major craft with titanium guides for whipping? Not available to the U.S. market. Wah, wah, wah. JDM! All right. Uh, is Pen Warfare discontinued? Jaren? I think it might be, dude. I've been trying to order that bad boy for like six, seven months yep. and it hasn't been coming in. I don't know if they got a new one or if they discontinue. I don't know what the deal is. Jaren, just grab yourself a jig master. They've been making that reel for 60 plus years. Go for it. All right. When would the Torium 30 come back? We got some on the way right now. Sign up for notifications, Ryder. The moment we get it back in stock, you'll get an email. you get a chance to go grab it. Uh, what is the heaviest lead to troll with a heavy nitro? Jason, no get nuts. Sample an eight. If eight isn't good enough for you, go with nine. But sample an eight. Okay? Eight is kind of the sweet spot for the heavy action nitro. Don't recommend going nine or higher. But if you got to, you could probably push nine. All right? Eight is the sweet spot. Sample to eight. Okay. Uh, what is that? What's up, Hamas? What's up, Hawaiian Leviah? Um, got a hard rock cross stitch, thinking it'll be good for Pachis. What do you think? If that's all you got, go for it, man. Yeah. Um, the medium action rods have a little bit softer tip. So for catching Pachis in a veil veil, you really don't want to, you don't have to set the hook on them. And having a softer tip, it's a lot easier to just bring them in a stiffer tip you might accidentally jerk it and pull the hook out but the hard rock cross stage will do it i i gotta say this every time if you are a young kid right now and you got one hand me down ugly stick and one bus up pen trio nine level wine with the level wine taken off and you and clean <laughs> that bug up guys don't we're here to give like pinpointed advice whatever you know what is the best for this and this and that you're asking our opinion Use whatever you got. If you got one trolling rod with one Spin Fisher 850 SSM and that's all you got to go fishing with, please don't get caught up in this or that. Some of us are off the deep end on what we fish with. Some of us have gone so deep down the rabbit hole, there's no <laughs> turning back. You guys, please, just please use whatever you got and go fish. The main thing is is just get some hooks wet, get some bait in the water, play around. I, I tell you, every time I see you in kid, just using any kind, yep. any kind, it warms my heart because guess what? I've been there. I've been there. I've been there, and it, I love seeing it. I'm not going to walk over and go, brother, that rod doesn't match with that reel. I'm not going to say it. And if somebody does, you tell me who said it. I'm going to lick that. <laughs> Don't judge other people for their stuff. Just main thing is just go have fun. All right? Please, go fish. Don't get caught up in what's the best rod for this, the best rod for that. If you cannot afford one uh, Shimano Stratic and one Major Craft rod, don't matter. If all you can grab is one GX2 and one freaking FX, Yep. Mm, go fish, please. All right. I get 113WS and 6 O's. was thinking about selling my Warfares. Um, sell them. Not discontinue. You're not going to get extra money. That's on a low-end reel. Just dump them. Dump them. Ask 60, 70 bucks. Uh, Shark's Cove is a reserve. No can fish there. Yep, you're right. You're right. Oh, can you fish at Shark's Cove? Is it protected? Is there a flat rocky area next to it? XNIPR. My suggestion is don't, don't go anywhere near there from fishing. From I don't even think you can fish Waimea. 
No, there's also boundaries at Waimea. There's boundaries. Guys, just stay away from Waimea Bay <laughs> all the way to Sunset, right? Stay away from that area. If the regulation is not going to get you, the surfer is going to get you. Don't, you just just stay away from that area. It's, There's so many other places it's to fish not that worth side the of risk. the island. It is not worth the not risk. Not worth the carrots. The locals up there, even if you're in a legal area, the locals will call to get you checked out. Yep, yep. I think the last time I heard somebody get one citation was in, in that area. So please. Okay, uh, somebody's asking where and what time is the KK class. The KK class is this Saturday, April 13th. 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. There are still spots available at the time I'm making this video. If you send me an email, you send me a direct message on social media, talking, send it to the High Fish Gear account, send it to my personal Facebook account. We'll, I want to get this filled up so when DAR comes down, they know that we mean business and we want to do this on a regular basis. We want to spread information and knowledge and get as many people covered as we can. And I know that some of that class is going to help the parents as well, you know? Okay, what is the best whipping setup? Pull and reel, no budget. What would you recommend? I, I would use, keep it I would keep it medium. I use a uh, Shimano Stella and a uh, Zanac, so Neo. All right. Um, Shimano Stratic is the king of whipping reels because it's just that base price, $230, $240. Uh, Major Craft LSJ. Um, probably go with a trip, not a triple cross, but go with a. I like the triple cross. The triple cross is a nice carbon rod. It's very nice, light. That Stratic and that, everything else is just a little, little too much for the cost. No? Nah? No. Nah. What size Stella? 5K freshwater. 5K. So what letter? What letter is that? We are on the F. Oh my God. Are we on the FL right now? Yeah. Freshwater Stella. 5K. 5K. All right. Same size as a Stratic. What, what to you, what is the difference between a Stella and a Stratic? Feel-wise, not, no, don't tell me the stat, the specs. I can look up the specs. I can, I can feel the, the difference in the smoothness. On a scale of 1 to 10. And when fighting a fish. FX being a 2. Yep. Sedona being a 4. Strat, Stratic is what? I would give the Stratic a nice solid 7.5. And, and then a Stella is what? About a nine. About a nine. What's a ten? I don't have any tens. Ten is okay. All right. I haven't found a ten yet. <laughs> there you go. See that price difference though between two hundred twenty and seven ninety nine. Seven something. Seven ninety nine. Eight hundred. Six hundred dollars for what? One two. Stronger internals. All right. You know what? That's it's one of those things. Brother works hard. Brought to work seven days a week, 565 days a year. Go for it. Treat yourself. Don't let anybody judge you on what you like. Don't let anybody judge you on going budget. Yep. But don't let anybody judge you about being high muckle. <laughs> <laughs> Shame on me for judging. Shame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, you ask some guy who gets Stella's, what's the best? You're going to get questions. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Stella with Zanac or Ripple Fisher would be my choice. Your real service guy, all conventional, only certain brands. No, he can service most. Uh, what brand you get, Reed? You got an album, huh? I tell you right now, <laughs> Frank is the Noel Whisperer. Yes, he is. He is the Noel Whisperer. Uh, but he's good with Shimano's too. He can actually do your double dogs on your 50s. All right. Uh, my kid's slaying the Nui with the reels I got off of auction. Awesome. The vintage, yes, I uh, love to see that. When young Keiki out there rocking one freaking 700 series black and gold pen with four pound test Andy, yes, sir. Uh, show up, you, you gotta, you gotta like, let the kid run when Spin Fisher. Let, let him listen to the. Those Spin Fishers are classic. They're freaking tanks. All right, bring Stronet just in case. All right, GX2 and FX was my first setup, and it still lasts to this day. No problems, and caught me the night the most fish. There you go. Those ugly sick GX2s, man. They're yeah, those awesome things are rods. Freaking hammers. I know there's better rods that are suited to the way that I fish. Uh, a seven foot or a nine foot GX2. I, I know that I've experienced rods that are better for the way that I fish. Keep in mind, everybody has different mechanics. Yep. 
Um, people cast in different ways. People have different casting habits. So it's really about not the, what's the best. It's about what's the best for you. Budget-wise, um, some people get money, but they still don't like blow it on fishing because nope. it's not one main thing for them, you know? Um, just sometimes just go fishing with whatever you got. The best thing is you're going to learn something, you know? Uh, how you catch choke jumping jack? Serious question. I didn't for bait. I use the same exact setup I used to catch a wama without the split shot. No split shot? Two pound, one or two pound line on a small little hand pull. What you catch? The little the little snails. You crack the shell and put them on the hook. <laughs> is that the shrimp? That shrimp. Shrimp. Same shrimp. style as All a right. wama fishing, but you just, I just take the split shot off. I let the shrimp pull it down and they grab it. Copy that. Freshwater Stella FK, FL5K and Sinac. <laughs> All right. Stella gears and drag stay on smoother longer. All right. Do any of the triple cross come in medium light eight foot six? Yes. They just released that one a couple months ago. We brought it in once and I've been trying to get them back in. Sign up for notifications on the, the website. Use size six high fish gear offset with a piece shrimp. It's a smaller size, caught five back to back. Okay, let's check out what, what we got on Instagram. By the way, we're right at 26 minutes. Wow. Leave a goddamn like. Just take a second right now and leave a like on the video. Please, that's all we ask. Okay, can fish Waimea? Um, check your regulation book, number one. Don't listen to the YouTube guys. There are specific brown juice there. Go check out your regulations. If you don't have a book on you, search for Hawaii Fishing Regulations. The DAR DL DLNR website pops right up. You should be able to find regulated fishing zones that talk about Waimea, when you can, when you can't fish there. And what you can fish with. You can't just go over there with a lure with two trebles on it. Yeah. They have specific restrictions on how check you them fish. Out. Check them out. Before you guys go anywhere, even if somebody told you to go there, check out their regulations. Make sure your area isn't. Okay. Uh, what is the best travel rod in Rio? Uh, rider. What bet? Oh, the. Which which one of the the travel rod? The, are they all cross stitch? Cross stitch, LSJ. Are we think we're getting some in? We sh I hope so. Yeah. Uh, check out the uh, major craft cross stitch. There's a bunch of travel rods. There's three and four piece. They're mostly four piece rods. The nine six four LSJ cross stitch. That is a pretty damn good rod. With a stratic, you're yep. set. That's a whipping rod, by the way. Okay, uh, you're gonna restock the Wama soft bait. Yes, we are. Sure, sure enough, we are. Okay, and here we go. Can we see some of your recommended trolling lures? Not at the moment. Uh, can you fish off the sand only? At, oh, okay. Hawaiian Levaya, I trust his judgment. I will recite what he says. You can fish off the sand only at Waimea. Don't fish off the rocks. It's limited to one hook. All right. Guys, that's it. 28 minutes. We gave you what, you, what we could. Uh, once again, please leave a like, and we'll catch you back here tomorrow. Mm. Go pick up. Uh, go, fish, go shopping on highfishgear.com. That's our sponsor. You guys are our sponsors. You guys make all this stuff possible. Mahalo and aloha.